So what are the best Android apps for ethical hacking? Hey, I'm WJ Pierce for CyberGrade and that's what we're going to be looking at today. So right off the top, the best way to stop cybercrime is to educate people. This video is not about encouraging people to hack, it's about trying to educate people. Because the more people are educated, the more people that follow a career in cybersecurity, the less hackers and script kiddies you have out there. So YouTube, if you're listening, this is not me trying to encourage hacking whatsoever. This is me trying to educate people. So with that out of the way, what are the top five apps for ethical hacking? So for this video, I'm going to be using a Samsung Tab S7. It's got a nice big display and lets me see what I'm doing really easily. And I'll throw the specs up on screen. You don't need anything like this. Any old Android tablet will do. So coming in at number one, we have Port Droid. Port Droid is basically Nmap, but on the go. It includes a local network scanner where you can see what devices are up on your network along with their IPv4 and IPv6 address. It then allows you to scan them and then you can see what ports are open. And this is exactly what you'd be doing in Nmap. It would be part of your enumeration stage and it's really handy on your go. It's even quite fun just to do it in public to see what kind of devices you can ping and see what ports are open. It also natively includes the Whois tool, which will tell you whether a domain is registered and if it's possible, provide the details of the registration, which is incredibly cool. Also, last of all, it includes an IP calculator, which I don't know about you, but the idea of subnetting when on a penetration testing job sounds awful, so this is definitely going to come in handy. Next on the list we have Termux, an Android terminal emulator and Linux environment app which works directly with your device without the need for root and its minimal setup. Now I'm actually going to switch to screen recording here so you can get a better idea of what I'm doing. So we're here inside the Termux app. I'm going to create a really simple script so you can get the idea that it is just the same as the Linux terminal. So touch script.sh. And that has created our script file and then nano, which is my chosen text editor inside it. So we're going to create the shebang at the top, which is hashtag full stop forward slash bin and forward slash sh instead of bash. then want to echo, double quotation, subscribe to WJ Pierce, which you should do. And then hit it with a control X to exit, press Y to save and then press enter. And then we cat that and we can stop double check that our text is inside there. Then we need to change the permissions so I can actually run the script. So schmod triple seven script.sh. Finally, full stop forward slash script sh, and there you go, it's echoed out the input. Now, obviously, that's a really simple script, but it gives you an idea of the fact that you can have a full on Linux terminal on the go wherever you are. Next up, we have Kali NetHunter. Now, Kali NetHunter is free, open source, built for mobiles, pen testing play kit for Android devices. And it's based on Kali Linux and it's available for unrooted devices, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, it's got some of the apps that I've already spoken about here. It's got a VPN built right in. It's got a Wi-Fi hijacker, which we're not going to be talking about today. If you're interested in pen testing and interested in pen testing with an Android device, the Kali NetHunter store is pretty much your one stop for all your applications. As you can see here, it splits up into categories, gives you a nice overview of what you can install. Following that, we have the Shodan application. Now I'm not actually going to use the app here because I don't want to share my API key. I'm going to use the web app instead, which is exactly the same, to be honest. The app's just a nice way to get to it. And Shodan is basically a search engine for devices that are online with publicly facing IP addresses. Now I've just searched for a fridge here and it doesn't really matter what you search for, but it's to give you an idea of what kind of IoT devices that Shodan collects information on. And it doesn't just list their IP address. It lists stuff like open ports and what protocols are being used on those ports. And it's been around for about 10 years now, so the amount of information it's managed to build up is truly incredible. Take any IoT device in your home, search it on Shodan, and I bet there's some sort of model or some sort of release that has an entry in Shodan. Last on the list, we have the Ethical Hacking University app. Now, this is great for learning ethical hacking. All the tutorials and certificates are completely free, and they gamify it, sort of like the Hack the Box website. You can go through at your own pace, pick a course that interests you, and then advance to the next one. As I said, it also includes certificates, which is pretty cool. 
that you can pop on your LinkedIn. It has a great resource section so you can see where they've actually got their information from and verify it that it is good information. And it has a point system as well so you can track your own progress. Well, that's going to do it for today. So that was my short list of Android ethical hacking apps. Again, if you feel like this video has helped you or want more content like this, let me know and be sure to hit that subscribe button.